Hello there, it's the Arcos from TradingCardArchives.com. I've got my blue gloves on, and I'd like to look at some more trading cards. Uh, so what we're going to look at today is something very, very strange. I don't know if you can see that logo, but this is in fact Marvel Avengers by Kama. Or Kama. Uh, not sure how to pronounce that one, sorry. But this company is... Well known to me, but you probably don't recognize it unless you also collect SCP Foundation trading cards. Uh, but yeah, they are the manufacturer of the SCP sets. All, all nine boxes of those are made by Kamon. And this is the... Uh, no, there's two other things I know about that they make. They make the Disney Princess sets, which I never got the Frozen one and stuff. Uh, and then they also make this. <laughs> a Marvel Avengers set, which is theoretically fully licensed. I mean, it has all the licensing information you would expect. And in fact, the same licensing information as you see on the Kyo product, the Hero Battle. So I, I don't know. I have to believe that it is actually licensed trading cards, but I don't think they're Hero Battle cards. I think they're just collection cards, but uh, we're going to open it today and find out. But before we do that, I want to show you my top two cards for the day. They've changed a little bit. Uh, so first, this is uh, just a beautiful LSR LSR rarity card from Kyo's My Little Pony Tenuum box. I just love the look of this card. It's so cool. Well, it's not numbered or anything like that. And LSR is pretty high rarity, so that's neat. And then this is something I just opened. Uh, it's an Elvira trading card, all metal. It's a metal card. And there's a only two cards in this set. Uh, so I have both of them. When you buy this set, you get both cards. So there's no randomization here. Um, but yeah, very, uh, very cool looking cards. And they, they both look awesome. But this red one was my favorite. It's very hard to capture in the light, sorry, but it looks great in person. That's definitely my second favorite card right now. A funny story is when I posted this card to Instagram just like 10 minutes ago, uh, they banned me. I don't know. It was very strange. They, I posted that, instantly got an email saying I'm ban banned for spam. Uh, I disputed that, and it was instantly reinstated. So. Uh, I guess the computer got confused or something. I, no human was involved in that. It all went too quickly. But yeah, as soon as I disputed, they're like, you're good again. But I may not post on Instagram for a bit just to kind of let whatever that is cool down. Because, uh, I don't know, I guess they don't they don't like Elvira. Probably, well, I don't want to speculate, but I may be certain of her features that they don't like. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, but this... Again, it's not. These are not Elvira. Well, she won't be in here. I'm pretty sure. I don't think she's ever been in the Marvel universe, which is too bad. They should invite her, but they haven't been yet. So this is interesting. So the box was wrapped, but also severely scuffed. <laughs> so I suspect this box was passed around on a shelf for a while before it was wrapped for me, but I doubt that was the original wrapping, which likely means this box was searched in some way, but we'll, we'll find out. Uh, I don't know otherwise how it got so scuffed up. Like There's just scuff marks everywhere on this box. Uh, it does look a lot better without the wrapping on. And if we look at the side, we can see that this set is called Battle of Vengeance in English. I don't know if that's a good translation or not. I'll look that up later. And then we can read this label a little better now. It's MWW. So the hero battle cards are MWK. MW, well, they're O2 on that, but they have MWK on the back of the box. Uh, so maybe it's the same type of thing. I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, I don't know what the 105. Oh, I guess this is a 5 UM box. So that's what the 5 means. The one I don't know on them. This again, I assume this is licensed only because no one would put Disney stickers like this on their product if it wasn't. But uh, who knows? Came on, uh, certainly has 
done such things before. They always provide a really good set list on the back, although as you can see, this particular set list has been scuffed up. I don't know, maybe I can pull that back out when I scan it, but it's really hard to read right now. <laughs> so, all right, that I think is everything on the box. Uh, and then, like I said, this is a five, five U one box with 20 packs and each pack will have eight cards. Uh, and there's this LR, this MWW00LR. This is the top card in the set. It's worth quite a lot of money if you can pull it off. It's very rare. Uh, someone on Instagram showed it to me once. And when they showed me that, I saw the Cayman logo on it. And I'm like, what the? I didn't know they made Avengers cards. And then they showed me that this box, which this box is always sold right alongside Hero Battle. So you'll see like all the Hero Battle boxes and this one. And they look the same. They have like similar artwork on them and they look the same. So you would not know if this wasn't Hero Battle unless you really look closely at it. Uh, all the vendors sell it as Hero Battle. And again, it might be, I'm not sure. But we have some Hero Battle cards here to compare with. So we will find out. Okay, so it's not torn too badly. A little bit of a tear here. That again just kind of tells me that, you know, somebody tried to open this or did open it before I, I got it. That doesn't mean that anything's missing or anything like that, but it could mean this. It's super interesting. It's like the box is structured the same way as like a typical one or two UM box would be, but it's five. And there should be 20 packs in here. It's got this weird foot to it more writing on it, and then you're meant to make a retail pack by uh, punching this top out. Really cool foil on that. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the packs in here and see if there's anything like a hit pack. Nope. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any box promo, or again, the, the vendor might have taken it. <laughs> I don't know. But I doubt there was a promo in this. It didn't say anything about a promo on the box. Uh, and then here are our cards. Uh, interestingly, like all kind of unevenly printed. Pretty typical came on stuff. <laughs> uh, the box packs all look the same. They feature Iron Man. Very thick, but I guess there's eight cards in each, so they would be quite thick. Uh, what I think I'm going to do here is maybe open. No, I'll, I'll just open one of these. I don't want to have too many cards to scan. So we'll open one. Uh, let's, we got to pick one now. So how about that? That and we'll go with that one. We'll pick from those three. I'll put those back in here. And, here. and then uh, we can put that to the side quick. And yeah, they look great. Like the artwork looks wonderful, but again, they might have just uh, stolen Marvel art. I think. Yeah. Of course, that's world-class artists. So let's get random.org up. And random.org just lets us roll a dice here so we can pick these without having to trust me to pick them, which is don't trust me to pick things. That's a bad idea. Uh, even when I do breaks, I always tell the breaker to pick because I, I don't want to be the one picking. It's just not a good idea. I'm always wrong. So this will be one, two, and three. And we'll roll three times. We'll throw the first two out. The third is the one we'll keep. Okay, we got a two. We got a three. And we got a two again. So that'll be the pack we opened today. I'll put these away. And we're going to put these over to the side here. So get that out of the way. And yeah, sorry that's so dark. But I think it's so hard to see. Okay, so let's take a real close look at this now, just to see if there's any more information on here. It doesn't look like it. They, If you notice, they actually have a refraction pattern in the foil on the pack, which is pretty crazy. I haven't seen that before, really, or ever. Okay, and so yeah, on the back, it's been more informative than the box. Again, typical for came on they usually don't put a lot of information on the box but then the packs will have like a full set breakdown and 
examples of the cards on them, at least all the SCP ones do. So up here, it's all the same information. But down here, we see that there's one LR, four GRs, and then I guess these SSRs are different characters. Maybe they're different teams. I think that was... I'm not going to try and guess what that says. But there's three different types of SSRs. I'll translate it later. Whatever they are, they're probably different teams. And then the SR is there's 27, and R is 36. So we're probably going to get mostly R cards, but we'll see. And then here's that L LR that is so popular. And the GRs look like that. So that that's what we can expect in here. But let's see what we actually got. And there's no odds or anything printed on this, so we have no idea what the odds of anything is in this pack. I don't even know what the distribution is, like if it'll be, you know, five rares and one SR and two SSRs, or I have no idea. We'll, we'll find out as we go here. First, the cards look pretty good, not too curved, although a little bit curved. But then again, they came all the way over to me from China, so they're going to be a little bit curved. Let me just take a look here. I just didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to spoil the big hits right away if I couldn't, if I could help it. Okay, and so we see immediately that these are not hero battle cards. And the reason we know immediately is because hero battle always has uh, a back. Because hero battle is a proper TCG that you play. And, you know, it has uh, card backs like that even the SSRs. So, yeah. Or I, or maybe I'll just leave these over here for comparison as we go, because we'll probably pull, well, I guess I, this would be Captain America. <laughs> we don't have one of those yet. Okay, and yeah. So right off the bat, I'm really sensing SCP Foundation vibes from this card. And not because it's Captain America, he has nothing to do with SCP, but it's this foil effect on it, this broken foil on the rare. This is what Kmon has used on the mm, Tenuan levels set of rare reprints in SCP. So that's kind of their foil treatment for rares. Uh, whereas Kai Kaio's foil treatment for rare is this. So it's a different uh, foil treatment, kind of a cracked I don't mean, want to say cracked ice, but a little bit of a cracked foil. And then below that is just color printing of the... So I suppose this is, this is probably artwork taken directly from a comic book, if I had to guess. That doesn't look like artwork they made. And then on the back, you've got the card number. I guess it's only on the back. Yep. And then, you know, the team and some you know statistics about this character. But this wouldn't be used for gameplay because, you know, you see who it is from the back. That's a uh, you know, pretty interesting card there on Captain America. So let's take a look next. We have Hulk, and it's a very similar effect on it. Uh, similar to everything, so we don't have to talk too much about it. That's Hulk. And I'm trying to see here the star ratings over here seem similar <laughs> but i don't know if that is shared or not this is made by a company called card expert not came on i've never seen this star but they probably just stole it from that but yeah so anyway there's hulk and then we'll see next got uh, black panther with i guess a black lion that's uh it's not <laughs> Not correct, but anyway, that's probably from a comic book I just haven't read yet. I have not read all of them by far. There's so many. But I do read a lot of Marvel comics, and I do kind of know the characters. And that's a, a cool-looking card. It just, you know, st struck me as a bit weird. So here we have Thor. It's a pretty classic Thor before Chris Hemsworth was there. They started kind of modeling the characters in the comics after the actors. Once the movies started coming out, 
not all of them, but like some of the series. This is an uh, older Thor image. Uh, but yeah, well, quite another rare. So, so far we've hit four rares out of eight cards. And it looks like we're getting a fifth rare now. But it's a different Thor, so it's Thor, but a different one. Interesting. But, uh, pretty cool nonetheless. So, Thor rare, so there's five rares now. And then we have Vision SR. Okay, so that looks kind of cool, right? Vision there flying in the sky. Got some uh, kind of etched foil around the edges, and then a very pretty foil background there. When I say etched, I mean like, I, don't, I guess it's hard to show on camera, but these uh, lightning bolts or slashes lines, I don't know what those are on the side. Those are all kind of showing the base of the card. So that whatever that is, is what the whole card is. And then this is printed over top of that. But yeah, it looks great. Uh, so that's SR. So that'll be the next rarity up. Remember, it goes all the way up to LR. So it's a lot of rarities to collect. But so far, it seems our pack has five, S five R's, one SR. Let's see what we got next. Oh, Thanos. I love Thanos. He's a very interesting character, I always. I love. Uh, Josh Brolin's portrayal of him, and I love the, all the comics about him. I think I've probably read everything with Thanos in it <laughs> at this point. Uh, so yeah, so Thanos is one of my favorites. That's an SR again. Looking cool. Totally different treatment, too. So they're not just reusing it. Like with the R, it's all the same foil treatment on each card. But with the SRs, they've customized the treatments. So you see, in this case, the uh, fireballs or whatever are where the foil foil is. There's nothing etched on there. Uh, okay, and then our last card will be another SR. So, and that is uh, Wasp. Wasp was the original leader of the Avengers a long time back. <laughs> and I don't think ever has gotten like a justified portrayal in a Marvel movie yet. She, she was in Ant-Man, but she was like second fiddle there, which is weird. It's, she's definitely the leader of the Avengers at the beginning. Cool. Not the beginning, but like late, later, sorry. But she was the leader for most of the 90s, I guess. <laughs> anyway. That looks great. I love the outlining on, on her characters. You don't see that on these other SRs. They didn't do that for this one, but they did do that for her. So that's pretty. It's another SR. So there you go. That is Kamon's Marvel Avengers. And uh, they look to be just trading cards, not Hero Battle at all. They don't have the numbers. They don't have the shared back. The artwork is similar. It's comic book art in both. But the Kyo treatments are, you know, a little bit better. Like, well, that's an SSR. That's not fair. But anyway, the Kaio treatments look nicer, and the cards feel a little better. Kamon cards feel kind of cheap, to be honest, these ones especially. Uh, anyway, I said enough about this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.